it is saying we have gone live let me check my channel and you can check it also on your end yeah i'm gonna check it out right now to make sure everything is gravy yep and make and check the sound because we're gonna we're gonna need it to be gravy for sure but this conversation right here that's about to be had hold on <laughs> one, one second <laughs> all right and let me pull this one up so it might be quicker here. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's quicker. Okay, let's, let's see, see here. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. We're, I see you live on YouTube. Live on YouTube. All right. I'm looking for me on YouTube. I had to pull up my Google. Yeah, we're good. I, I, see your, I, see, I see Animal Crossing on the list right now. What's that about? Oh, that's Animal Crossing, you I'm know. I'm just saying, what is all this about? You you about to drop Animal Crossing on us? Yes, today is Animal Crossing Day because it is the first of the month. And let me greet everybody. Yes, we are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ying Meets Yang of Gaming, episode number three. And this week, Project Storm and I are discussing some things that we are finding quite disturbing in the gaming community and i'm not sure if it's a disturbing it's disturbing as in very scary for us to see but also extremely scary for us to see i feel uh, you before right. we get into it right here already in the in the chat first in the building right here dirt griggity in the house yang mix yang is what he said Hello, it. Dirt. How are you doing this evening? And mm. could everybody do us a favor and tweet this stream out? Oh, yeah. Got to do it. Got to let the people know so they can come in. I had people asking about it last time. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, let's get it tweeted out. And some people That's who it. are your buds started following me, so hopefully they'll see the stream. Well, that's what's up. All right, so let's see here. And now tweeting this out. Okay. I got it right here. All right. There it is. All right. I just put it out. And I'm about to tweet it from my end. And yeah, because we're gonna have to take our time with this one. Let me tell you right now, we're gonna have to take our time with this one right here. Now, last week we did the diversity. You know, what I'm saying we did diversity mm -hmm. in gaming. Mm-hmm. <sighs> man, this right here that we're about to cover today is just absolute nonsense in, in certain cases. Yes, so, uh, it, it is in a lot of cases. Let's see here, and I'm putting it in here for us. And then, there we go. All right. All right, so let's see who's all in the chat room now All right, for all right. Well, we got Jamal. Jamal Adams just joined again. Hey, What's Jamal. On, Jamal. How are you? Uh, Jamal is one of my uh, friends who play Pokemon with me. That's what's up. Yes. I miss, I, you know what? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to jump ahead on anything, but man, I miss, I, I, I have never played Pokemon. I'm not even going to lie to you. I have never played it. Even when it took the world by storm with the Pokemon Go or something like that. Was that the one, the craze that happened a few years ago or whatever? Yes, that was yeah, on cell yeah. phones. Yeah, man. I see stuff like that. That's what Nintendo has in the bag. It has that in the bag. I can't lie. Well, can't I'm going to be honest with you. I never played Pokemon when it first came out years and years ago. Because when Pokemon first came out, I was I was virtually, like, I was in high school, about to go into college. And then when it really started taking off, I was in college clubbing. So, yeah, me, I, yeah, so did I. I joined Pokemon community quite late in this life cycle. Yes, Jamal, it is very hot. Tell me yeah, about that. Is. All is. right. So, 
as you guys know, I will be playing a game as we're talking t t today. This game is Animal Crossing. And the reason is, is because it's the first of the month. I have new bugs to catch, new fish to catch, new things to sea dive for. And my island is generally a wreck, so I need to basically put it back in order. And today, this week's topic is, like I said, things we're finding disturbing in gaming. And it's from everything for me. I don't know about you, Storm. Oh, I got a lot. A lot but to talk about. how are you doing this week? You know what? I'm doing good. I'm coming off a very busy week. I finally, you know, last episode, we were I was talking about how I was trying to get in that top 100 on Madden on the Xbox One. You know what I'm yes. saying? On the X. I always yes. got to put the X at the end because I need people to know. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. I dropped that 500 on the X. So, um... When we get into the topics, I don't want people to be too upset. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pissed off about some things. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I made it to the top 100. Congratulations. You know, so, yeah, I appreciate that because now I can get back to work, you know, doing what we do out here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, other than that, I played, uh, you know, I dropped a, a Formula One video on Twitter today. You know, that, that sparked up something that I can't wait to get into, man. Because I had, I had my first official hater. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not really mad at the dude, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at him. Because okay. I, I I get it, Bunny. And I, I don't want to jump the gun. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to jump the gun, but you know I'm ready to go now. I'm like a greyhound ready to get up out the gate. You know what I mean? Well, let's bring up the first thing that you're noticing in gaming that is quite disturbing that... We need to really start talking about these things amongst us gamers and realize that, hey, we need to... Um, fix a couple things um also you wanted to know what new games i purchased this week um uh, remember i had preloaded under the jolly roger it's finally available to play now uh oh, also yeah. i got graveyard keeper it is a game uh that's like stardew valley but it's dealing with you your character dies and you tend a graveyard Okay. And then, um, so you have to like bury bodies, run around, chop wood, build things, just like Stardew Valley, but just a creepier version of it. Well, I hate to tell you, but I never played Stardew Valley. So, uh, you know, I, I, I got to see, I had to look these things up, man. Shame on now, me. Now, Stardew me. Valley, when you find how popular it is, it was made by one guy, a guy named Concerned Ape. He okay. made the whole game from beginning to end. And he's even involved in a lot of the updates and things like that. He's that's like his baby project, and he it's become. I think it came out in like 2014 on PC because he yeah. loved Harvest Moon, the old Harvest Moon games. So he uh, made it as a homage to ha Harvest Moon. Okay, now I did hear of Harvest Moon. Yes, no, that's a big one. Okay. Um, so I purchased that game, and uh. Well, some of you know and some of you don't know, I have a huge thing for visual novels. Like, I have a ton of visual novels. And uh, as you know, there's Vampire the Masquerade. Yep. Um, and there's Blood, Blood, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Yep. Well, familiar with both. I can't play Bloodlines because it is in first-person view. And also, it's not on the Switch, but it's in first-person view. But they have dropped two visual novels of Vampire the Masquerade on the Switch that's also on PC right now. And that, and I just preloaded uh, Shadows of New York, which is part two to Courtiers of New York, which I already have as a visual novel. Okay. So those were my new games for this week. And everything was on sale. <laughs> they no, always right. running killer sales on the switch so all the time what is what does this put your total at uh right now this puts my total of games at i'm almost at 150 i might be a little over 150 now wow. Wow. yeah i did might you be say a... you bought most of those all right so did you cop most of these uh like in the last year or did well, you, I can tell the more of your game, the most of your games in the beginning of the console life cycle. Oh no, 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 no! I buy a lot of games every year. I could tell you from January to June of this year alone, I bought twelve physical games alone. Okay. 
and I usually buy most of my games day one because you know both of us live in the same state and you know yeah. how you know how when stuff sells out around here it never comes back yeah. into stock that's true that's true so and a lot of the odd games that I play when I was pre-ordering a GameStop I would be the only person buying the game, so only one copy of it would come in. Oh, wow. Yeah, I had somebody so, against I had a manager that would put stuff aside for a brother, man, so I was lucky. You know, I'm from yes. the fat PS4. I mean, the PS3, the fat PS3, man. The yes, original. yes. Yeah. And see, the thing is with me, like, when I pre-ordered, like, I wanted a game called Aya the Summoner Files, Mm-hmm. which is uh it's a visual it's a, a detective visual novel and when i purchased it like when i went in like it had been announced for like six months prior to when gamestop had gotten it i was going in every month asking if i could pre-order it and they never got it till about a month before it came out Okay. And when the, it went into their system, the manager at the time called me and said, hey, you could pre-order this game. And I walked in and I pre-ordered the collector's edition. And um, I was the only person who ordered that game. So the only copy of that game that came into that store was my copy of my uh, collector's edition. Wow. <laughs> Uh, there was another game that I wanted called Stein's Gate Elite. Mm-hmm. It's another visual novel. Never and, heard of it. Uh, and I'm not surprised. It's from the anime, basically. And um, when I went into, I did not pre-order it. And I waited about a month before I went in to buy it physical. When I went yep. into GameStop, they said, oh, that game hasn't come out yet. I said, yes, it did. It came out last year. I mean, last month. And they said, well, it didn't come out physical. I said, yes, it did. And when they looked it up, they said, oh, nobody pre-ordered it. So we didn't get the game at all. Oh, wow. So I had to end up ordering it from a store in Virginia across the bay that had like six copies of it. Yo, that makes... You know what? I just wow. So man, so it's a popularity thing, huh? You know yeah. I mean? it, it, the thing is, is they might get one or two copies in if somebody pre-orders it, but if nobody pre-orders it, they don't even get the game in. And um, so I pre-order. I used to pre-order a lot of stuff with GameStop just so I can make sure I had a copy. Because no, if nobody pre-ordered it, it might, if it wasn't one of the big popular first-party Nintendo games, it was a chance that they wouldn't even get it if nobody pre-ordered it. Gotcha. So that was something that I, I so that's the reason I buy so many games day one is because of that factor. I used to buy games a lot. You know, I, mean, I I used to just drop money on games. I'm talking about just drop a 60 just to let games sit and, and you know, lose value or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I thought one day, I'm like, look, man, I'm tired of dropping $60 on these damn games. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's just so much more I could be doing with my money and, instead of just letting, because these games are going on sale after a month or two. You know what I mean? Like, and see, Nintendo games, sell. but that's the thing. Nintendo don't do sales all like that. Like Mar, like when they put a first party game on sale, it's rare. So, and it's usually digitally, but not physically. Like last Black Friday was the first year I ever saw them put Zelda, Mario Kart, and something else on sale for thirty bucks on Black Friday. So for Nintendo fans, it's like okay, whatever. I, whatever time you purchase a game from. Nintendo, it's still gonna be full price. Yep, I, and, and see, I don't know how I feel about all that because everybody else is dropping sales on our head. You know what I mean? All these other platforms. Um, I don't know Nintendo. I don't know. Now we need more sales. We need Nintendo summer sales. Do they have summer sales and stuff like that over over on the eShop? Yeah, if you go digitally, they tend to have a lot of sales digitally. Like right now, if I go into the eShop, I could tell you how many games they have on sale. Nah. Like right now, they got six hundred and thirty games on sale. Oh, okay, man. 
I mean, and sometimes I've seen it up as high as like like right now Mario and Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, which was super super popular. It's one. It's like one of the best third party games on the Switch. Right now they got it for seventy five percent off, down to fourteen ninety nine instead of fifty nine ninety nine. Ain't bad. Not bad yeah. at all. Yes. Six hundred something games. You say they're on sale right now at one time. Yes. You see right here. Does that include first party titles? Uh, right now, let's see what games they have on here. That's classified as first party. Look like right now it may be all third party. Last week they had a lot of first party games on sale. Okay. Sales rotate out weekly. Oh, all right, all right, okay. I see some titles I'm familiar with up there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like uh, this game right here, XCOM. That Borderlands and another game just came out like last month, month before. Uh, and um, so yeah, it looks like it's no third party right now. I mean, no first party right now. It looks like everything's third party. See, that's where I think Sony is in the game right there. I think Sony is out there. And, you know, and, and of course, X, um, Xbox and PlayStation, man, they do a good job of, of that, um, as well as, you know, Stadia, you know, and all. But so, it and goes. Steam and Epic Games, you know, they give you free game and all that. They have their sales and stuff. Um, PlayStation is definitely Alec Kazam in the building, DKS in the building. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Thank you all for joining us on a nice Sunday. Hey, it's calm right now, but it's about, it's going to, hey, Trust me, somebody. Hey, the, the fuse is going to be sparked in a little bit when we switch tracks. But uh, <laughs> hey, definitely thank y'all for coming on out here. Um, yes, thank you for coming. But yeah. uh, that's the thing, and and but then you got to you got to look on the flip side of it. Nintendo sells so many of their first party games. It's like okay, Nintendo is like okay, I can st- we can still charge full price while we got to put it on sale, and we still get. 10 15 million sales in six months without it going on sale right and, and i mean that's the and let's 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 be honest they're all about the bottom dollar you can't fault them for trying to get as much money as they can and that's how i look at it like okay they know people are going to buy the games people are still buying mario kart 8 deluxe which was a port from the wii u at full price for 60 dollars yeah, and they do that, man. They support Nintendo. I, I, I'm curious to know how much of that is stateside or international. I would love to see the, the, the. I'm sure, like, of course, in the Asian market, they are eating those games up, right? But I would like to know how much the North Amer- how, how we North Americans spend on these games versus other countries too. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. I know they have a breakdown somewhere. I just need to go check that out. Well, I know if you look at Famitsu, the weekly sales of Famitsu, because they release them every week, those Uh numbers are only for Japan. So you can see the lifetime sales of a game that's on that list in Japan that week. All right. And I mean, I can tell you right now, Animal Crossing right now just obliterated for their sale lifetime sales they've obliterated everything that's on our list right now they're, they've so, sold see, they've sold close to six million in japan alone yeah now speaking of this we were talking about before we went on, on live or whatever we were talking about animal crossing and, and somehow some people in an, I, was that the nintendo community that was saying some people a few people that were saying hey the game needs to be released elsewhere or, or uh, no, it, it, other, it, other it, it was people on you may be honest the main people i saw saying it were people wanting it to go to pc oh that that makes sense pc gamers want every damn thing yeah <laughs> and they're like well i don't want to spy so many platforms this that and the other but you know gaming is a choice you choose to play on whatever platform you play on. Like, I choose to play on the Switch, but you don't hear me griping and complaining about games not coming to the Switch. If I wanted if I, if I wanted to play those games, then I'll just go out and buy those platforms. Oh, wait a minute now. You done, you done said something now. You done said something. I'm sure Alakazam is like, I'm sure he sat up, he sat up with a plate of food in his lap or something right there. You know what I mean when you said that? 
But listen, this is why this is why we're gonna go into this today, y'all, because it's so much. Bunny, it, we we were both victims. We were both victims of the nonsense when it came to just voicing our opinions about a platform that we love, that we mm-hmm. that we choose to buy into as consumers, right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So my my, you know, it's no secret, right? That I play Xbox, PlayStation, PC, G. What's now Shadow? I mean, hey, I I I I, <laughs> I do it all, man. So when I post a, uh, when I put the tweet up there early, I put a tweet up of Formula One 2020, right? Racing, racing game. Beautiful, beautiful game running great on Stadia, right? Uh-huh. So as soon as I put it up there, you know, I'm thinking, all right, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe somebody's going to check it out. You know, I put Google Stadia's fire. I guess that must have pissed somebody off. So this dude jumps out of nowhere and just like a, a start pretty much attacks the tweet, man, and, and the platform. Like, um, Stadia's trash whatever blah 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 and all this and it continued for like hours man i'm sure people just muted us or whatever man but it went on for hours because i was like yo i just gotta show this dude you know i gotta show this dude that for one i'm not a fanboy because see that's what he thought i was he was like i could tell by your avatar you know what i mean that you are that you out here pretty much like i'm riding for stadium and, and that's all i know so mm-hmm. i know you felt stupid when i said and this is somebody with over 20, like about 2,500 followers on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Xbox dude. And, and everybody know. Look, we 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 share a panel with some of the best Xbox dudes we know. You know what I'm yes. saying? The most diehard. But at the same time, Dirt, and I'm going to, you know, I call the names out. So I want everybody to know this because I went over to Dirt's channel and checked out the video that he, these brothers beat him, Dev. Him and Dev in particular, you know what I'm saying? I did stop by and check Net out too as well. You know what I'm saying? His Halo stuff is just through the roof. You get what I'm saying? But I was out there and I'm listening to these brothers talk and I'm like, yo, do mugs not understand that these dudes is on here? They 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 don't they don't cap that damn hard. They bleed green, but they don't cap that damn hard for for Xbox to the to the to the point that it blinds them if they want to try something on PlayStation. Right, like, I, and see that right there. So if it's right in line, that's why I, I, I wish Dirt was still here, man. I, I don't know if you're still here, Dirt, but if you are, man, say something because right here, this is a clear example, and this is why I listen to what everybody has to say. You, Dirt, um, um, Sue, Deb, Needles, Moss, everybody that R and B, anybody that comes on the panel, man, on um, Scram Punks or We Believe Green or whatever, and. And I pay attention to what's being, what's going down, and I'm looking at all the backlash they get. And then I'm looking on the other side. It, it, it's, and then I'm looking at the PlayStation cats who come out here, and they defend their platform, and it's kind of like this never-ending battle. It's like a turf war. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And now yes. Stadia's into it with GeForce Now, and, and Shadow, and Xbox, and PlayStation, and PC. Now check this out. And even and wait, 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 we got to even throw in some Nintendo dudes be trying and, and to throw it up in it. Nintendo dudes. <laughs> uh, Nintendo was so nice. Hey, it's such a nice land. You know what I'm saying? Land of Peach. You know, um, Princess Peach and Mario and Luigi and everything. How you going to hate on these Donkey Kong? How you going to hate on Nintendo, though? You know what I'm saying? How you going to hate I don't uh, hate on Nintendo. I just don't. I want Nintendo to deliver me some games at 4K with 4K textures, enhanced textures, and I'm dropping. I'm gonna drop three, four, five hundred dollars on the next Nintendo. So I don't get why these people come out here. I, I mean, don't spend that much time. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trash a platform just because other people love it, and or because it's doing something that your platform ain't doing. And and that's that's what it boils down to. My thing is, if you're not happy with your platform, you chose to be there. Let's let's right. let's keep it 100. If you're not happy with your platform, you chose to be on that platform. Right, and they don't have you shackled. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They really they're not they're not holding a gun to your head, telling you, "Hey, you have to stay here." No, you don't. Don't sit here. And crap on somebody else's parade because they're happy about what they're what they're doing. Right. And that's the thing that that's one thing that is so disturbing to me. It's as if some people have so much dedication to a company that you think that they're getting paid by that company when you know they're not being paid by the company. 
What up? Yeah. To defend people assume them. that we're getting paid by Google to promote Stadia because Stadia is such dog trash. You know what I'm saying? That you can't even like it. Like, it's not even cool to like Stadia. How dare you like Stadia? I mean, you know I mean? and that's the thing. It's like, I'm sitting here looking at people like, are you being paid? <laughs> I mean, are you getting free stuff? Are you, what's the deal? Okay, that you have to try to prove that your platform is the best thing ever. Get, shut up, get out here and play some games. Like, right. I, miss, I miss things on Twitter all the time. Like, the reason my island here in Animal Crossing has gone to crap is because I got Collar X Malice. And I got to the point where I was playing nothing but Collar X Malice. I missed everything on Twitter for like two to three weeks of my life on Twitter was gone. And Animal Crossing just went because yeah. I was so connected to that game. It's like so much goes on where you're sitting here like, how do you even have time to play video games? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. That's why I ask most people, yo, I need to see, I need to see some credentials, man. I need to know how much you know about this platform before you talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, how much research did you do? How, what can you tell me about Stadia? Because clearly this dude right here came out and said things like, um, um, you know, there's no games coming and stuff like that. Stadia is old games. This is the, 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 the typical myths about the platform that, yo, people, they don't even bother to look into it. If I'm going to have a conversation with, with, the, with the Xbox and uh, Xbox and ponies or whatever, if you want to call them that, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to have a conversation, you better believe I'm going to know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not going to make myself look stupid. That's the number one thing I'm not going to do, funny. And then you know another saying? thing is, like, I like you know how I can comment on almost any platform or whatever, right? Yeah. A lot of things are common sense. I mean, where a company, and then that's another thing, okay? Besides the players, we got to flip and look at the companies also. Yeah. The companies, some of these companies are kind of egging things on. Do you understand what I mean? I like, like how you said some. I do get where you're coming from. Some companies are like they doing... they use fighting words. Yeah, they use fighting words, like or, teraflops and all that. Yeah, yeah. That or yeah. they'll throw some shade at a company. Like when, like prime example, back in 2013, when Xbox was up here talking about we were going to do no D, we're going to do DRM and you won't be able to share your games and this, that, and the other. And then PlayStation came out and was like, oh, here's how we, you share games on our platform. It was, it, it, it automatically sparked something. Right. And some of these companies, like, like I said, and it's not only gaming companies. Like, I be seeing fast food restaurants on Twitter throwing shade at each other. It's, like, yep. <laughs> I, I don't know. And that's and that's funny that you say that because see here's the thing, like right now, uh, so Dirt just just came back and he said, yeah, I saw Alakazan Alakazan uh, taking shots at Xbox guys on on Z show in the chat, right? But see here's the thing, man, like with the freedom and how we voice our opinions these days, man, everybody's throwing shots and sometimes it's just retaliation. And this is what we're talking about right here because I've seen everybody, Dirt, you, I've seen you guys be just 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 take dumb stuff man it's just dumb stuff that comes from out of nowhere that people don't even know what the hell they're talking about half the time but they just gotta say something so and then we take the same heat on stadia and then bunny is up here getting criticized for stuff that she's doing on nintendo for su stuff that she's saying oh, oh wait just, a minute wait a minute please. i got one to Go top ahead. that i Go was ahead. making a comment about a company and it was on one of moss's po post on mm2k's post on twitter and this dude came out the gate and started attacking me about something. Mm -hmm. And then called, I can't remember if he called me an x -bot or a Sony pony, but he called me one or the other. And it right. was something we were talking about with Nintendo or something. And Moss played a clip from the show talking about, uh, that's the Sony pony you're talking about there. She's more into Nintendo than you are. And it was just like the guy just got quiet. He didn't he didn't answer any more comments. And the thing I'm noticing is is people are coming out the gate attacking people. Like I made a, a tweet on Twitter talking about how people are all of a sudden using the term anti-consumer. 
Yeah, a lot. When when things are not going their way. And some dude, I don't even know who the dude is. He just came on and talking about you ought to be ashamed of yourself for defending these greedy companies and this, that, and the other. And I'm sitting here like, who said I was talking about a company? You know, I get I'm I work in a dentist office. I get people who come into the dentist office and when things don't go their way, they're like, Oh, you're anti consumer. How huh? Yeah. Excuse me? Cause it's cool. It's cool to complain about that stuff these days because people know they've learned from from com- by complaining that they get their way eventually. It's kind of like the spoiled of brat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like if you whine enough, somebody might somebody might feel sorry for you, or they might give in to your pressure because they don't want to deal with you no more. Right. And that's what's going on. And that, and see, this is why I'm glad that I'm 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 a uh, I'm a neutral gamer. You know what I'm saying? All around or whatever you want to call it, whatever the term is. I play these damn games. Like Deb said in the video. It's about playing these games. I'm paraphrasing right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I, but I watch his, I watch his video, and I watch Dirt video, and I don't care what nobody say. I a hey, when stuff like that resonate with me, I call it out. I show love. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, yo, I like this shit right here. People need to know more of what of what's going on behind the scenes because because you got a podcast uh, uh, titled a certain name somebody might just think it's okay to throw shots at you without even trying to talk to the brother or the or the sister behind the scenes you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying no, 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 not even trying to engage in the intellectual conversation about the platform of choice or whatever or ask you first have you ever tried a particular other platform they don't even ask you. They just throw the shots. So what the hell am I supposed to do with somebody throwing shots at me? You think I'm just going to sit there and take it snow money? No. And you, that's the thing. Think- Everybody. And, and what's so crazy is, and that's another issue. Everybody gets super, super defensive. Super quick. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I'm not even talking about like, like you get defensive when somebody gets defensive back with you. But what I'm saying is some people get so sensitive so quickly. I'm sitting here like, are you an only child and a spoiled brat? Because like I'm an only child. And the way some of these people throw temper tantrums, it's like they're an only child. Like my mom taught me, you don't get everything you want when you want it. And if you don't like something, then change. And yes, I, I am tell, deep yeah. sea diving, okay? No, I could tell you. Go ahead and hey, do what you gotta do. What you gonna? Can you get some pearls and rupees and shit down there? Like, uh, what can you I get just, down there? Uh, I can find pearls very rarely. Right now, I'm looking for stuff to donate to my museum, and I will show you my museum. My museum is. Cool. All right. Well, let's check that out. But we're gonna get yeah. back into it because okay. see, my, my 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 blood is boiling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So because, so hey. what so what happened? Because like I said, I could tell something happened where you're sitting here like, yo, I cannot believe this community. We're all supposed to be gamers and come together and talk about games and this, that, and the other. But it's more into fighting among everybody. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Sometimes fighting is fun, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. There's a sometimes, difference. There's a difference. I... But wait a minute. There's a difference between a fight and you're having create. You're having differences and you're discussing it. Well, thanks for the clarification. Because some people refer to fighting as uh, arguing is fighting. When you know, I I call it arguing. So that's a good point. What I'm saying is, it's good to to jump into the uh, the conversation sometimes, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's fun, it, it, it creates laughter sometimes. But you know not to throw throw smoke, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't throw no shade, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want it back in return, that's what I'm saying. Like you just gotta be, you gotta be ready to deal with that. And so this dude, I know he wasn't, and I didn't want, I didn't want nobody, I didn't ask for no help. I didn't want nobody to jump in. I didn't call out to Moss or nobody else, nobody else for help. Eventually, one of the homies from Stadia jumped in, but I'm like, nah, man, we're going to have a conversation and we're going to see how much you really know about your own platform because he is an Xbox guy, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he likes Xbox and he is clear on his, on his Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. So I like, see, I, I was waiting for him to say something stupid because I'm like, yo, you dumb fool, I like Xbox. I drop a- Xbox content. It is no, it's a known, it's a known fact that I love Xbox. It's the most powerful console out here. It's looking the best. 
is the, the graphics and the visuals and everything is looking the best. It ain't just about the T-flops. It's about what you're seeing on the screen when you're playing Forza and Gears and Halo and, and other titles on that damn platform. So why did I buy an Xbox? I'll tell you. Well, that's because I bought an Xbox original day one. Day one, Bunny, I dropped my fucking money, my money on the damn, on the system day one. Not so, knowing what was going to happen later down the road. Let's be honest. Knowing, not, even, not even caring. I, I went in GameStop or Babbage's or whatever the hell it was. I saw the damn controller. I put the controller in my hands. The Duke, I liked the thumbsticks. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was two thumbsticks, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's my first experience with two thumbsticks. So I'm like, oh, shit, you can turn the camera with this right thumb right here like this. And then you can move with this thumb. Oh, okay. I can't get, I can't get used to it. But I got to have it because it felt so good, Bunny. As I got used to it, I stayed on the game, and the manager let me play the game for at least two, three hours. I ain't even lying. They had two kiosks set up. I was on one, and everybody else was on the other side because they knew they wasn't about to get that one. So that's what I'm saying. So I got the history. I got the achievement points. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost at 90K on the achievements. I know that's measly to some people, but some people ain't got 10K. Some people got their, got their consoles banned so they ain't they got like 3k you know so i mean it, before people jump off the deep end i think what we need to start what i'm gonna start doing is i'm just gonna start asking the questions the intellectual questions like hey bro man like tell me why you mad like why you mad at, at, at this platform or that platform just can i know before i even shoot at him because it's like what if i shoot at him and he's just asking a genuine genuine question i don't know if he's a real hater or if he's just confused or what so that's why I opened up the uh, the conversation the way I did today on Twitter with this dude, man. But it really, it I can see, now I see why Moss and Dirt and everybody, man, how Dev and everybody, how everybody be feeling. You know what I'm saying? Sean, you know what I mean? Neethos, how everybody be feeling when you just constantly get bombarded with the BS. Like, constantly. Mm -hmm. And you know it's not facts. Money, you know it's not facts. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. It, it's it's because, and that's one thing that I see disturbing in gaming is all that. Next, another thing I find disturbing in gaming is the fact of, um, it, like I said, it flips back around to the companies. You know, just as you said, you you wish Nintendo would give you a 4K, this, that, and the other. But Nintendo never tries to claim that. But then we have the on the other side, Nintendo beats pretty quiet. You don't hear my oh, I should have figured that was a damn clam the way that bitch was running. But um <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta look at the companies also. Like like look at right now with Madden. Look at all the backlash Madden is getting. It deserves a lot of it. Okay. I'm not gonna you lie. Remember? I'm a Madden dude. I'm in the top 100. I made it. I ain't gonna lie. I made it. I'm proud of myself. It's hard work out there, y'all. Madden on Xbox is crazy. It's, these cats over here is, is good at the game. You know what I mean? But so, remember when we were talking about how we, I think we were off air talking about how um, you wish the Switch would get all these EA games, and I was explaining to you what EA did to FIFA. Mm hmm. Basically, EA did that to everybody this time with Madden almost. Y'all still got the full game, but it's 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 basically a reskin of 2020. Yeah, it is some some things that make it feel different because I go back and forth from feeling like this might be one of the best Maddens because of the physics engine, whatever the, the engine that they're using for the game and all that. Um, the way you have to plant your feet. Like, at first, when you jump on the game, Bunny, you might say, yo, this is trash. It's broken. The controls are broken and all that. But when you get used to the game and you realize that they give you precision controls and stuff like that, they, there's a lot of bugs. And that's the unacceptable part. There's a lot of bugs and glitches, Bunny. But there's not, Madden's not the first game that's came out like some trash. And, and, but you let's know? let's be honest. Let's 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 and let's. I ain't, you know I ain't capping for it. No 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 no. But let's be honest. The moment they made it so that we could download these games and things like that, that's when we start getting a lot of trash games because they're like, okay, we're just going to download a patch. We'll just yeah. get the game out. Let's get the money we can, and then use that money to make this patch. That is unacceptable to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I don't remember games being that half fast though back in the day with cartridges. cartridges no, I mean the thing the is disc. before before games started going 
digital online, which was probably pri uh, around before the PS3 days, because that's when it got real major was PS3, because PS2, you still had full games on the cartridge, I mean, on the disc. Right. That's when we started getting all these, all this garbage. And that's disturbing. Like, I still swear that Halo was going to get released in the state that it was going to be released in, and they were just planning on just doing a bunch of updates to it. But then when they saw all the backlash, they were like, okay, no, we got to delay it. I'm glad they didn't. I'm so glad they, they didn't drop that game like that because a gamer like myself, mm -hmm. who, who, who has high hopes and high standards for these games, I'm so glad they didn't do that to themselves or their fans. You know I mean, and, and we got, we have, like, YouTubers out here, which is another issue. They're, they're another disturbing factor of this whole, whole mess. I, we had, I, I saw some YouTubers coming out here with videos talking about why they defended Halo Infinite and things like that. And I'm sitting here like, that was a broken mess. And yet you up here defending it. Right, knowing that's not helping in the, in the long term exactly and i think somebody just started following me oh let me see here all right well while you're doing that it's a good time let me see alakazam yep. said it comes down to brand loyalty i feel that's why more people are fighting with each other um um more he said i almost had to fight someone at best buy when i told him about stadia you know what yeah I mean? I mean and that and that's <laughs> sad okay Brand loyalty. Why you got so much brand loyalty? Like I will, I will be straight honest with all of you. Every gen, I have changed systems. I went from a PlayStation to a PlayStation Two to an Xbox 360 to a PS3, back to a 360. I went to a Wii. I had a Wii U. I, I switch around. I don't follow companies. I follow the games. You show yeah. me games I want to play, I'm going to go to that platform. Okay? So I don't understand this whole brand loyalty thing, especially when you got brand loyalty and they're not even treating you right. Okay? Mm, that's, hey, you just said something right there. I mean, that's the thing. Like, we can, we can talk all day about how there's all these companies out here that do things that's crooked. Okay, like prime example, you don't think Nintendo did you right because they haven't released the console you wanted yet, right? Yeah. So did you go out and still support them? I did not support them. Bingo. Okay, you have people sitting here griping. Like I see, like I remember when the room, the the leaks came out, or when they were talking about Last of Two, The Last of Us Two. They were not releasing oh, the multiplayer was... at yeah. the time of release, and people, I saw all these PlayStation fans, you know, screaming and complaining about it. And I'm like, aren't you being counterproductive? You're complaining about it, but still going to buy it. And you know, the response I got from some of them was. Oh, well, we're not going to miss the biggest game of the year. Excuse me? Then why are you sitting here wasting my time with complaining about the, the game? If you're still going to buy it. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I haven't bought, like, when EA came out and started saying that single-player games was dead, and when they started doing all these microtransactions, I have not bought an EA game in 10 years. <laughs> EA That's is crazy. on my permanent ban list. Okay, because I do not believe their practices. I'm not going to sit here and complain about what they're doing. Hey, they can do whatever they want to. It just means I'm not going to get, they're not going to get my money. I guarantee you all these people who complain about Madden 2021 will rush out next year on Madden 22 and buy it. Yes, they will. Yes, so, they will. See, that's why I didn't got in. I wasn't out there like, yo, Madden is straight trash. Now, I did say that, and I said it on my live stream, that at first my initial impression was a 4 out of 10 because it was trash in my opinion. But I, but as I played it and I got used to it, I saw something good about the game. And I thought on Series X and on PS5, this game might be something special if they could just clean up all these bugs and add more, a little bit more features to the game. That, that that we couldn't have on current gen. If they don't do that, then uh, that's shame on them. But if they do that, 
then it's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? Like this game, mm-hmm. they they had a lot because they had to build a next gen version simultaneously. I'm sure. Yeah, and or they see, built and- the next gen versions first and poured it down to something that that came out like that, like the way you see it now. And the thing is, is you're not sitting here saying that, that the game is trash and all this stuff, but you're also telling the the things they need to fix. But you already bought the game to try. You're giving them a chance to fix it. Now, next year, you might not buy it day one. You might wait and see what happens. You're not That's what sure I'm doing yet. With 2K. I'm doing yeah. that with 2K right now. Yeah, you might wait and see if they change, and then if you notice that the changes happen or it's looking better than what it was, you will go out and support it. But you're not sitting here complaining and griping about it and still buying it on day one. Right. I mean, what that's sending a mixed message to these companies. But, Bunny, sometimes I get confused, and I'm not going to lie. It's no secret. I've said it before. I get confused because I'm like, no, I ain't buying the Series X, man. Damn that. They ain't giving me Hellblade at launch, man. Hellblade, one of my favorite games. Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 with Sinuous. I just need to play more, man. Hellblade 1 was one of my favorite games, right? I'm talking all this, right? Uh-huh. And I call it out. You know what I'm saying? I call out my own shortcomings, right? Uh-huh. I'd be like, yo, because that's how I feel. I go up and down, back and forth. I don't know, money. It's not, nothing's cut and clear no more like it used to be. So now I'm like, okay. If Halo's not going to be there, Hellblade's not going to be there. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. Do I want to cop day one? But then I thought about it. Most of the games that we're going to be playing, 95% of them at least, is going to be third-party games like Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? But PUBG, see, but, but, Enhanced, and Apex Legends, and Warzone. I mean, like, whatever. Uh, all these other games that a lot of people that are popular right now. Red Dead, your GTAs, and all this stuff, right? That's what people are going to be on. But you got to think about it like this, okay? And especially for you. For me, it's whatever. But for you, you got to think about it like this. How many of those games might be coming to Stadia? Well, I thought about that. But see, here's the deal, right? See, the content creation side of things change a whole lot. It changes your whole way of thinking. You get what I'm saying? Like, if they do come to Stadia, that's cool, right? Um, but if they don't, Dev said, Dev said he's down to pop in if we want him to or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with it at all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I like the versatility. Check this out. Here's the point that I'm trying to make real quick. If the game comes to Stadia, it comes. If it does not come to Stadia, I can say, you know what? Stadia ain't doing what I need them to do. Where's that Series X at? It's looking real shiny. A dirt. A dead. Hey, whoever got that Series X, it's looking real good right now. I can't deny it because I'm not a hater. Remember this now, Project Storm is not no hater. I might get confused. I might hear RTX 3000 Series cards and say, oh, shit, $500 for the 27, I mean, the 3070. Oh, it's Mm -hmm. only going to be 700 for the 3080, which I think they're going to all be in limited supply. So I'm probably not going to be able to grab one day one any damn way because I'm not going to be the type of person that's sitting there waiting for them to to say pre-orders live. So I might miss out on that first wave, which is cool, though, because I'll just go to EBGA or one of these uh, these other brands or whatever that, mm-hmm. that, that will make a better card or 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 a cooler card or whatever. Now, so that's that's what I'm thinking, Bunny. So when I say I'm confused, that's what I mean, because, yes, I go back and forth I, again with Sony. I don't I saw Ratchet and Clank at 4K30. I knew it was 4K30 because, see, people was looking at the beautiful graphics but Project Storm was like, yo, this character ain't moving that fast. Like, this game world is not moving with blazing speed at 60 FPS or 120 or whatever. Like, so I I ain't falling for the tricks. And I was on the live stream when I said that. So I don't know. I don't want to fall for the same tricks that I fell for this generation because I'm telling you now, the PS4 Pro, Rapid Pack Math, they promised all that stuff. They did not deliver that. They did not deliver, they deliver on that. Far Cry 5 was supposed to be running with Rabbit Pack Map. It was supposed to be a game changer that you could literally see. I ain't see none of that shit. I, I can't lie to you. So the, the, the Xbox One X, that console is still showing me that it's powerful. So you want to um get Dev up on here? Yeah, I'm about to tell him. Dev, I'm about to tell him where I am, where we are, so he'll know where to pop in at. Got you. Got yeah. you. So Devin, go check your Twitter. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep on rocking. Uh, I, I mean, mean I like mean, that's a, I mean, that's the thing. Right now, you're bouncing back and forth because of everything that keeps coming out and what's being said. Right. That like, whereas me, that's where I'm different. I'm going to let the system come out and then see whether they lied to me or not. Because I still got a ton of things to play on, like my like the next switch coming out. Mm-hmm. I'm already prepared to get it. But I'm gonna wait to see probably a few weeks to see what they're ta- if what they're saying has really happened. Most likely it's going to be because Nintendo very rarely release what they what they say they're going to release is usually what it is, always underpowered. So you never expect more. But when it's a new console generation, I always usually wait six months to almost a year before I buy it. To see if it's something I want, if games are coming to it I want, and what major bugs the systems are having. You understand what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. I'm just turning the light on. I had to turn the light on real quick because it's getting dark out here. But uh Uh-huh. So and 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 I get exactly what you're saying. So you see you wait. Me, Mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard for me to wait. It's hard for me to wait. Because it's kind of like, okay, I got friends on on all platforms, right? Uh-huh. If they're telling me, like, yo, you got to see this Black Ops, man. This joint is so cold. 120 frames per second. Man, you got to see it. Eventually, I'm going to give in. I just know myself. It's, it's, it's just me. It's my habits. I, I call myself an all-around gamer. So I don't want to, I really don't show bias. You know what I'm saying? I will, if you come at me like the boy did today with that whole now, again, I don't have nothing against Xbox. I own one. Love it. You know what I'm saying? I got as many Xbox video damn near as I have Stadia video. But check this out. When you come at me talking like Xbox is the only platform of choice, I have a problem with that. I have a problem with you saying what you just said too after that because I'm questioning who you are and what's your motive you know what I mean and um and you know what prime example um so as you know what some of you guys don't know is I kick I backed the kickstarter for Uridan Chronicles and Uridan Chronicles gave it has a discord server that we can join you know there was a guy in there talking about oh this game needs to come to uh, Xbox to Game Pass and this, that, and the other, and they'll get so many sales and this, that, and the other. And he was trying to make it sound like Xbox was the best play to play place to play it at. And we're sitting here like, yo, we just kickstarted this thing, got like five million dollars to kickstart this game. If Xbox and, and the developers of the game already said they were not making it a console specific exclusive. Right. They did not want to do that. But then you had this guy in there talking all this negativity about the way the guys were going to kick, how they were going to publish the game and making it seem like Xbox was the best place for it to come to. And right. that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And it should have. It really should have. Because, and see, that's what we're talking about. That's why we're sitting here now having this conversation because. It's something that needs to be talked about a lot more. You know what I mean? That's why I always say I'm not pledging allegiance to nothing. But I, what I will do is call out the facts about whatever I'm gaming on. That's mm-hmm. all. I'm too damn grown. You're too damn grown. Everybody else in here is too damn grown to be sitting up here arguing with somebody who don't know, don't know what the hell they're talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. me, what I was trying to do was shed a little bit of light trying to educate the dude, trying to see where he was coming from, because at first, at one point I thought he was going to be like, yo, man, I'm just playing with you. I'm, I'm, I'm just messing with you, man. But he never did. Then he posted a, a Destiny 2 tweet saying that the user base on Stadia had dropped in January. And Bunny, now, around this time, we're talking about the, 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 the platform launched in November, November 19th. Alright, January now. Okay. Uh-huh. People have already said, I want to see what the other games are like at this point so hell no they wasn't gonna be playing destiny 2 and a lot of people was never destiny a destiny fan anyway you know what i'm saying right who just happened to jump on the platform early but see he ain't bring up nothing like you know when stadia mm-hmm. launched uh, when they when they came out with the free one month thing or whatever during COVID to help millions of people could jump into gaming because they was at home stuck with nothing to do see he see they, he's not gonna bring that up 
he's not going to talk about how September was one of the biggest months in gaming for free games or whatever. Six games being given out on the, for pro subscribers. He's not going to talk about that. He's not going to talk about how you play plus is supposed to be coming later on or all these other games is going to be day and date on other platforms and stuff. But anyway, man. I mean, that's and that's a, and yeah. another thing is, and like I said, when I was saying about how these companies are fueling some of this stuff, so with Xbox, with their, you know, and it's not only Xbox, PlayStation got PlayStation now, Xbox is putting stuff on PC and blasey, blasey, blasey. People are going to these other companies like, we want you to do what Xbox is doing. And then I that's. I see Dev in the lobby. Is he in the lobby? Uh, um, he should be in general chat. Uh, okay. I told him to pop just... into the general chat and I can move him down. Oh, oh. There he is. I'm moving you down, Dev. All right. Wait a minute. There we go. Because I had to do the same thing. So, I mean, it was a little bit confusing at first, man. You know how, how disco can be. Uh huh. I'm moving yeah, you down, I Dev. Hear, I can't wait to hear his thoughts. You know what I'm saying, and what he has to say. Because, like I said, man, I'm proud of these. I'm proud of these dudes and their takes on, on everything, and how how stupid it makes other people look, who are up here like, I'll never touch Xbox. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pony. You know what I mean? All this, like my pony, like my little pony. Like I ain't got time for hey. Bunny, I don't have time. I'm too damn old now for uh, all all this all this crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. I take it in moderation now, but I'm too crazy. To, I mean, too 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 old and too crazy now to be up here like I'm a ride for only this one thing. I can't do it. With Hello, that being said, Devin. Devin is in the building. Hello, Devin. Welcome to Ying Meets Yang podcast. Thanks for coming. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I, I've been making a lot of content myself. I've been listening to you guys' show. And how, how are you guys doing tonight? Man, doing pretty good, man. I stopped by your video. You heard me talking about it, man. I told you. I said I was just proud of y'all, man. You and Dirt, man. And, and, and yeah, I heard everything y'all doing. That, man. Yeah, man. And everything y'all doing, man. Because see, people don't understand that you know we don't been on Gears of War on xbox so you see me and Deb, that's why i'd be always yeah, we like we played man. halo you know what yeah, i mean who, and i, I mean halo, halo, my bad my bad but you yeah we were supposed to do this but listen i it's like if i know i'm out here dropping receipts that people can cash on my ass i'm not trying to i'm not trying to make a fool out of myself you know what i'm saying Bro. so in my case i'm confused Deb. uh so i don't know which direction i want to go in right now because i'm hearing so much negativity so much uh dumb shit that's going around the industry about these different platforms and all this and that and this and that and now cloud is out and it's getting hated. So man, what is what are your thoughts on on the on the on the bullshit you've been uh, seeing? Um, my thoughts are um, I I don't think you should let a person cloud your judgment. That 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 was what I made that one video about. I feel like you should if you like a game, you should continue liking it and continue playing it on whatever the platform that it's on if it's on multiple platforms you just pick your your favorite place to play and that there's no issue with that word and that makes and, absolute sense and if a person judges you for playing it well their their opinion on you should not um change your own opinion you shouldn't let another person change your own opinion yeah but how do you handle the pressure every damn day of being what they call and I quote a damn bot. You know what I'm saying? How do you handle that? And I know it's I know Deb now. Before you answer, it's gotta be tough. It's gotta be tough, bro. See, I I, I don't wanna be in, in your shoes and dirt <laughs> shoes and everybody else's shoes right now with the WBG, man. I'm gonna tell you why. I can only imagine the damn stupid ass messages y'all get constantly, man. That's what I'm saying to you. One message today was enough for me to be like, yo, this is that bullshit. So how do you deal with it, man? And for, for, on some real stuff, though. I take it and laugh because they, um, a lot of the hatred just comes from liking Xbox. Uh, well, Xbox being my preferred platform, but I, I laugh at it because I play PlayStation 2. And, and they make it seem like we only game on Xbox and we, we support every, every Xbox game to high heaven. Even when we don't, we we give Xbox our own criticism. Like we you, we don't like everything they put out, and um, 
we're not we're not biased you know what i mean so i laugh at these these stupid comments that these haters throw at me every day it's a, yeah it's a it's definitely an everyday thing to where they they're talking out the side of their neck they don't know what they're talking about and that's the funny part to me that's why it doesn't it doesn't really bother me a whole lot man and, and see, then but, but then you yeah, gotta go think ahead. about it. you gotta think about it like this also okay if they're doing all that to you you're making an impact on them exactly yeah. i mean and if that's they... the thing before like we bleed green blew up to the way it was nobody was messing with y'all or even talking about you but now that it's gotten popular then everybody is coming and and you're you realize you're making an impact on people we're making our mark i mean and that's the thing it's it's crazy because like i'm sitting here like okay you can like whatever you like like uh, and that brings up another topic also you can like whatever you like, play whatever you want to play, but don't get up here and call people. And actually, that's gonna be another topic for after we finish talking about this whole Xbox thing, yeah, because because sure. it's it, 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 it's it, it kind of pisses me off, and um, and we'll talk about it. For but sure. that's the thing. It's it's you play what you want to play. Okay, it's your dollar. Yeah. I don't care what right. you spend your money on okay exactly. mm -hmm. it's your dollar okay but like i said the only th that's when you realize that you are making an effect on people is when they come at you like that you're you're making a you're making an impression yeah and and, and that's I'm, even yeah. you storm that guy who probably came at you today and you're sitting there like well the one time was enough for me you gotta think about it. he probably came at you because you're making an impression Oh yeah, he didn't. Oh, he he made himself look stupid at the end of the day. Yeah, you know? so I'm not defeated, but it's kind of like I, I normally wouldn't even engage. I had just told Moss like, man, you know, somebody hit me up with that dumb stuff, man. This is how I'm gonna handle. It. I'm gonna be like, yo, man, tell me what you know about this platform, and then, you know, I, and then I let him rap or whatever. But he was just bringing up some dumb stuff. But go ahead and say what you was gonna say. But he uh, definitely didn't piss me off or nothing. I was laughing behind the scenes. Yeah, and that's what Devin does. Devin's always laughing at him, <laughs> but. A thing that, that I have been seeing here in probably like the last year of me being on Twitter and stuff, or even just in general, and it's between female gamers, okay? Like oh, yeah. some female gamers get up here and talk about if you play like Animal Crossing or if you play this, you play that, you're not a gamer. Wow. Let's get something straight. Most of them that's saying things like that are like half my age. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's yeah. let's 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 keep it real. When I was your age, we when we I don't care what we played, we were we we right. were hated on. Okay, whether it was Animal Crossing, the fact that we knew how to hold a controller, there was issues. I remember mm -hmm. in playing Magic the Gathering. Now it's a lot easier for female gamers to get into Magic the Gathering, but I remember twenty plus years ago when I was playing it. Yeah, I remember I had to reteach my roommate how to play it. We would go into tournaments and play, and they would look at him like, "Oh, you taught your girlfriend how to play Magic? That's so sweet." And he would just look at them like, "Um, she taught me how to replay Magic." And everybody <laughs> just looked does. like, and yeah. everybody would just be like, "What?" And then, like, I remember I made this deck. It was a devastating yeah. deck. It was I did a Dragon Reanimator. Where Shit. I was putting dragon cards in my graveyard and I was bringing them all out to attack in one turn. Kill. I could have like oh, a, the, I had the deck built around to where I could have a third turn kill. Yeah. Okay. Nobody believed I built that deck until this guy was like, "Yeah, dude, I was there when she built it." He said, "I saw what she was putting in it." He said, "I just decided to make a straight counter deck just to go up against her with it." Because of how devastating. And the thing yeah, is, you, and were like, your, you were on your shit. I mean, and that was 20 years ago when a lot of these younger female gamers out here, someone, well, you're not a true gamer. We paved the way for a lot of things for you. Facts. Okay. So when you get up here, like, it kind of kills me when I'm like playing Animal Crossing on Monday nights and people yeah. in the chat are up there saying, oh, you need to get this chick. She's an Xbox gamer. She's a true gamer, this, that, and the other. Excuse me? Just because I don't play Call of Duty and things like that. It's not like I don't want to. It's just that I can't play those types of games. And then that's the mm -hmm. thing. 
I play what I want to play. I like playing games like Animal Crossing. I like playing my visual novels. I like playing Splatoon. Those are the types of games I like. And just because I don't play what you play as a female gamer, don't sit there and tell me I'm not a fem- I'm not a gamer. I don't care what yeah, you play but, games on. And like, Bunny. What's up? Um, I was going to say, that's only one part of it, man. Like, because, yeah, yeah, we we all game, but then again, we're all we're all just generally good people. And, like, we, we, yeah. we all have a connection with each other. We talk to each other, like, almost every day, I would say. And we're, we're all good people. You, you could find probably a million females that play like what call of duty or all you know basic Mm -hmm. third party games but like they're not going to have the same type of personality the same type of connection and like the same type of um be like cool calm and collected you know and you and you definitely won't get a motherfucking female out here most of the time that'll break a dude's legs off in an instant (laughs) yeah right right you bring your x factor you know I mean, and that's the learned. thing. I'm not going to sit there and run and cry and hide in a corner and get my my followers to protect me. No, <laughs> right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right after you myself. Exactly. And that's yeah. the thing. It's I'm sitting here looking at this like you guys, like a lot of them who are in their 20s and stuff. You don't realize it, but it used to be real hard out here as a female gamer. Oh no, I do. Oh, you think we don't know? No, no. Uh, we as older uh, people know, oh, but the right. younger generation of gamers who's in their 20s, they don't realize how hard it was. Even oh, when yeah. when I was a kid. You know, because and, it, it mm-hmm. it's foreign. And then when you go, it, it, it killed me when you would go into a store to pick up a game or whatever, and the guys who were working in the store would tell you how to play the game. Excuse me, I know how to play it. Yeah, but no, nah, I've seen it. I've seen it even worse than that, where um, you jump in a party chat as a female gamer, and I'm gonna tell you right now, like you got blasted, like you got oh called all my kind of bees. God. You got called a bee just for somebody to try you, just for somebody to try you to see, just to make uh-huh. you mad. And that's and the I was reason. Like, Yo, that's that that ain't man, that ain't cool. Because if and... I got a sister and you call her that, man, where you at? I mean, you know and I'm that's saying? the thing. Like, where you at, man? Like, people complain about the Switch not having no party chat, and I'm like, it's okay, it's whatever. That's because I've been called enough bees, hoes, everything from the PlayStation 3 and the 360 days to last me a lifetime. I'll, I'll just stay on in blissful silence. Yeah. And, and that's just what we, and I was going to ask y'all because you saw what happened with The Last of Us 2, y'all. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. That was. <clears throat> now I'm gonna say, people came at that game for the very wrong, the all the wrong reasons. I think, you know what I'm saying? Like for one, the developers took that game in a direction that they wanted to take the game at. Mm-hmm. You get mad. And I'm talking about the people out there. You get mad because the game didn't go the direction that you wanted to go in. Now you throw all kind of like uh, feminist stuff and 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 and, and all kind of like other stuff out there that don't even need to be thrown out there surrounding the game. So now you just tried to kill the game. You tried to sabotage the game and all that because now you didn't get your way. Again, this is the world we're living in. Like, but 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 mm-hmm. see, now here's something I was thinking about. Right, at one point, <clears throat> a buddy of mine who I had watching WBG, that the boy was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. man, how they gonna um, how they gonna do you know do the WBG thing and still play PlayStation?" And I'm like. Uh, and I answered it. I'm like, yo, it's the same. It's like this right here. Um, they can still bleed green, dog, and they can still not be blinded enough and 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 all that to try PlayStation. So when they have a conversation about the PS, the, play, the PlayStation Five or PS Four or whatever, they can come out with some facts to back exactly. all that stuff. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. So I had to think about it myself, though, when he first brought it up. And then, so, but this is how people are coming out here. And they, but hey, Storm, man, why you you on Stadia, but you on Madden? Why you playing Madden on Stadia? Well, dumb, you know the game ain't out on Stadia, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. It ain't out on Stadia, but if it was, I would be playing it over there probably day one. I might be playing it on both still. You know what I mean? Because I like the competition. I, it's just so much dumb stuff out here, man. If we wasn't strong, if we weren't strong, It'd be easy to give up, man. There was this grandmom out there, y'all, 
I forget her name, and they, they call her Grandma. And she's like 70 oh, something man. years old. Yeah. Wait a minute, which one? Uh, huh, yeah, what's her, what'd you say? Which one? Because there's the lady oh, who, oh, oh the oh, lady damn. who plays Skyrim, right? Elder Skyrim. Scrolls. Skyrim, yeah, yeah, her, her. They call her grandma and stuff, right? So mm -hmm. she, they was, they, they was in the chat, the young boys, the dumb, the dumb asses, right? Out here, the trolls. Yo, telling her that she's not good get at the game. She should do all kind of other stuff and all that. I don't know how bad it got, but it got bad enough for her to say, she don't want to do it, and she had to block people and all this stuff, man. Oh wow! So I'm like, yo, that's just crazy, bro. Like the sheep, the, because they didn't, because they, she didn't do what they wanted her to do. That's absolutely how she ridiculous. Had. You know what I mean? So this chick got like over 700 followers or something, or six, at least 500k. I thought I saw. She got a whole lot of followers or, or subscribers or whatever on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And that's how they treated her, man. It's crazy as hell. I mean, and that's the thing is, you're, you're sitting here like, okay. We got to realize that there's a point of being a fan and there's a point of being a fanboy and then there's a point of being off your damn rocker. Right. And a lot of these people are <laughs> off the damn rocker. Oh, clearly. Every day I see one of them type of fools. Yes. And like um, prime example, we're not going to mention names, but that guy on Twitter mm -hmm. who's, who's losing his mind over Sony. Mm-hmm talking about putting hits out on people that work at <laughs> i mean yeah uh, th there's a point of taking fanboyism a little too extreme these are video games sir <laughs> yes like, do you have do you live in the real world <laughs> like hello and, th yeah, the and these is. are things are disturb and these are things that's very very disturbing to see in gaming and just like you can't give everybody the middle finger when you roll raging and stuff, you can't really come at all these fools out here now, now that know how to like, you know, tap into stuff, these hacking ass, dumb ass motherfuckers out here that can do all this crazy stuff that's crazy with it now. Now, the crazy ones I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. See, we got and we gotta be mindful of all this now, doing what we do and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it, it, it's just it's it's crazy. It's crazy where gaming has come. And people Believe it or not, the crazy people play games too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dumb, the dumbass people play games too. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna be doing stuff and saying stuff that you know, it, it's crazy, man. Because I'm not a judgmental dude, and I'm definitely not an ass. But I will say that these are things that we don't think about. A lot of people don't talk about this kind of stuff, but it's all factual. You know? I mean, it, it, it's scary out here because, like I said, like the guy who was calling swats on people and that innocent mm. dude died. Yeah. Oh, geez, I, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is you're going to take video games that seriously to where you're going to call a SWAT team out on somebody. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's funny yeah. because it's, it's it's all about a laugh. It's all about a laugh for somebody. And I think, I think and, and part of that reason, I think, is is because the internet is making us desensitized um because now you can just sit behind a keyboard and say whatever you want to say you don't have to deal with the consequences of saying it to somebody's face think about right. it like that if you if you had to say if you said half the things to people's faces that you say from a keyboard you would be getting you you would be getting a, a, a punch to the face yep yeah and Easy. that's making a lot of these people desensitized because of that fact. So I think, so the internet is part of the reason that we have so many issues going on, but it, it's scary out here because you don't know where people are coming from and like i said it's not a lot of the older people some of the older people are nuts out here but they were nuts to begin with right. i've noticed uh, mm -hmm. like the, the guy who was calling the strikes he was like 20 some years old you didn't learn they mm -hmm. need to bring back sesame street and mr rogers where kids can learn <laughs> to cope with stuff yeah. i learned to cope with from those shows and it, it's it, and like i said it's making us desensitized because, like I said, if you could say half the things that you said in people's faces, uh, you'd be getting hurt. Yeah, well, look, I mean, the bottom line is, I mean, that's what you sign up for. Really is sad. That's why my son is like, who's eight, is like, uh, you know, I want to, 
you know, he does a little thing, makes a little content. He's happy, you know what I'm saying? Got a few hundred videos up and all that, but he's like, uh, he know what the rules are. So I got, you know, he got a couple friends from school that he, yeah, he talks to because he's bored right now. He can't go to school, can't see everybody. So, you know, he linked up with a couple of friends. But I'm like, yo, let me tell you this. And I'm teaching him the ropes, man. You don't let nobody trick you into buying no V-Bucks and all this dumb shit. You don't tell, never give nobody your information on this system or whatever. And I'm like eight years old. Eight-year-olds ain't supposed to be playing no damn games. You know what I'm saying right now? On this, I, I just have to tell them like that. The same way I had to tell them, don't put your hand, your finger in the uh, electrical socket. And so I used to, so I asked him one day, man, put your hand. Because, you know, I want to make sure he don't do nothing crazy. These streams mm -hmm. right here on these blinds. Don't ever touch him. If you touch him, you go, you'll get hurt. Stuff like that, right? So I mm -hmm. had to do that with my son because I know what can happen when he does become 13 and he really starts gaming and interacting with people that's going to be probably older than him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to prepare him for it now at this early stage. Yep. You know? Right. So he has common sense because, Deb, y'all, this is what people don't have, common sense. That's why they're saying the shit they say. And they really be acting like it's the, it's, it's the truth. It's, it's the gospel, man. Like, they stand and, by it. And these are full-blown adults that we're talking about here. Yeah, man. Adults. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. See, what happened? I don't know. Back in the day when Xbox first dropped, when they had Rainbow Six, Vegas, man, and all that, man, we was, going to, we was on that thing going hard. All the trash talk was real. Wasn't nobody talking about drop the Addy. I'm going to roll right. up on you and all this. None of that stuff, man. None of that. It was all about, yo, hey, you got three kills this time. I just put up 20 on your team, though. You know what I'm saying? All this. And then you go at it yeah, for yeah. hours and days. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's MW, changed a lot. MW2, man. Oh, my God. Them voice chat lobbies. Huh. Oh, man. You can have, like, how many people? Yeah, I feel, it felt like 12. I, I, I feel like those, those game lobbies prepared me for these Twitter streets. <laughs> and they, and you know what? That's a good point, man. Me hey, too, and hi, hey, that, Phantom man. Kraken joined in. I'm one. We wanted to say that early, man. Phantom Hello, Johansson. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. It, it's it's totally different. But now, so I asked earlier. Funny, I mean, like you don't get. All right, so I'm gonna speculate right now and say mm. you don't get it as bad as we get it. Well, I'm talking about we when I mean we talking about dev over on Xbox me over on stage oh right? oh yeah I've had to tell people to suck it up buttercup and fucking deal with it and I've been <laughs> waiting on I've been waiting on them to respond to me and they haven't so yeah I get it oh man I just I just go straight in for that kill because I, I remember the number one rule my mom taught me if you allow stuff to perpetrate, like you allow people to continually do the same things to you, they're going to always know they can get away with it. I just go in for the swoop in for the kill immediately, and then they just stop okay. talking to me. That's the, thing. <laughs> That's the thing. You know what I mean? That's the thing that you got to do. Rome uh, Rush just joined. What's going on, hey, bro? Rome. Nice episode, last Welcome episode, back. man. Welcome yeah, back. Check I've out seeing, episode been... two with Rome Rush as our guest on there. Yeah, it was definitely lit, man. It fall, it just fell right in line, man. We got Dev on this this week right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who's gonna be next? That's the question right there. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. um, it could be anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even, uh, oh, what, what's uh that Mario guy's name on Twitter is uh Barney, Mario you know Sniper? Mario Sniper? Yeah, man, that dude is funny, man. Hey, look, yeah. I dropped something you guys would probably love. All you sports heads in here, I got me a nice little, my mom found this little sports table in Animal Crossing and sent me. Look at that. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, uh, a Texans, Twins, New York Yankees all mixed into one logo on the hat. Yeah. 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 Now I'm going to say, now we were talking earlier, right? Mm -hmm. And you were saying that now what were you now now that Dev's on the panel, what were you saying? Can you go back and let us know again what were people talking about when they mentioned Animal Crossing? Like coming to other platforms or whatever? Oh yeah, i I was noticing a lot of and it was mostly PC players saying this that they wish that that Nintendo would release Animal Pro Crossing onto all platforms because Animal Crossing would sell so much more if it was everywhere. And then I'm sitting here looking at it like, okay, it might sell so much more, but it already sold like 22 million. I think Nintendo's happy with that 22 million and all the boost in the console sales that happened. You know, why I got two message in the bottles? No, I, hey, so I was asking, all right, so 
I, I think, and that's another thing that we're dealing with right now, man. Everybody want their games to go to PC. Everybody want, I mean, all the PC players want games to come to PC now. Man. So they're starting to lobby for that. And I, I really think that just like we buy multiple consoles, yo, you spending fifteen two thousand dollars on a uh, fifteen hundred two thousand dollars or more on a PC, bro. Like, you can't buy that console for four or five hundred dollars. I mean, like, I like, mean, are, like you, are you that much of a? You know, what I'm saying you that much. I'm just saying. Uh, it's not even that. It's just that I'm privileged. I'm, you know, I'm. That's beneath me to play on that trash. Is how how some of the PC gamers I know how they feel. That's how they think. That's how they talk. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I tell you what, this is always a great conversation that we can have for days and hours and weeks and years. I mean, it never like, ends. like I have, like, like I can tell y'all, I, I got like my, I got an MSI. That's to compute my main computer. It's an MSI gaming computer. In my closet, yeah. I have a custom built computer that I haven't updated in a few years. But you don't see me crying about these consoles. I just go out and buy what I want when it's a, something I want to play on it. You know, I'm not gonna sit and be like, "Well, I spent all this money on this console. These games need to come to my console. To, I mean, to my PC. All these games need to come to my PC." No. Yeah. You know. So you put most of responsibility on the 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 companies, is what you're saying? The corporations? The, the consumer. Oh. Because if oh, you, you put most on the consumer, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're out here spending like like I spent ungodly amounts of money on my MSI, okay, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting here. Do you, do you ever see me screaming? I want such and such game to come to PC. I barely play my PC for gaming, but my thing is, is I had this PC before I bought my Switch. But you didn't see me screaming, I want these games on the Switch to come to PC. No, I went out and bought me a Switch. Right. If you're gonna spend if you're gonna sit there and spend all this money on PC and then cry about cause most cause back in the day, most PC gamers were for like I had all my PC games get uh systems for not single player games, but for multiplayer games. Massive multiplayer get online RPGs. Um, but right, but that, that's so you know, that's what you know. I mean, that's no, no, no. What I'm saying oh, is, man, is when, when, when I got my gaming PC, I got my gaming oh, PC yeah, yeah. for uh games like Final Fantasy 14, World of Warcraft. Yeah. When I was playing those, I had it for City of Heroes, Elder Scrolls Online. I never played. I never even thought about playing single player games on my PC. That was I mainly right. had my PC for multiplayer massive multiplayer online games, RPGs yeah, for the mostly. Time, uh the PC was a wow machine. That was a wow box. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh man, RuneScape that takes me I back. mean, and that's the thing. So like now a lot of a lot of I wonder if it's console gamers who want to play both but don't want to invest in the hardware or whatnot. But mm-hmm. I don't even understand why, like, like PC gaming has changed so much. Yeah, it has. Mm-hmm. But back in the day, like, a lot of us were playing multiplayer stuff. And then back in the 90s, you had games like uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. That was a huge game oh, in the 90s. Unreal Age- Tournament. Yeah, yeah, Unreal yeah. Tournament. You had Doom. Oh, yeah. First person shooters were huge on, on the PC. Yeah. All that Quake, everything. Man. Yeah. Quake, all that. Yeah. And I was enjoying it. Yeah. So like Bye. now it's like the landscape is changing, where everybody wants everything the same. But then the moment you make everything the same, it's going to die. Look at GameStop. GameStop bought up every oh, company yep. that went that. Perch like that was like them. I used to work at Funko Land. They bought out Funko oh, Land. They bought Funko out. Land, they I bought out all they those places. EB, Electronics boutique. Yeah, they bought oh, out uh, all those yeah, places. Think about it, like Blockbuster Video, Hollywood Video. Those are gone. Circuit City is gone. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, and those places oh. ended up buying out all their competition, mm-hmm. and and then when they died, guess what? It's gone forever. 
So GameStop right now bought out all their competition. They're the only company, and now they're failing. So when GameStop goes, that's it. Unless another so company did, comes out. Why didn't they prepare to go digital or something? I don't. I mean, did they, I know they tried to go digital and stuff, right? But I feel like they could have done. I feel like they could have done a little bit more to to what? get ready for these times. What I no. heard they're doing. Uh, what I heard they were doing is. Uh, they're looking at you know still selling video games obviously they're gonna sell the codes there so one one thing i really like about gamestop is that you can go there go straight up to the cashier and say hey like say if i wanted to buy xbox currency i could say hey i want you know 22 dollars and 36 cents of microsoft currency and they'll give you the exact amount so you don't have to go and buy like like two ten dollar cards or whatever you can just exact amount they print it out on a receipt with the code exact amount that you want and the other thing i was gonna say is what they're gonna try to do what i heard i read a couple articles this was a while back too but they're, they're thinking of like still selling games and like the little trinkets and clothes and whatnot but they're thinking of turning gamestop into like a uh, a land cafe to where oh. they have yeah, pcs they... And, and like game consoles that you play like tournaments and stuff it's like. actually being tested in some areas i've seen oh. pictures of it where they're testing it where they're trying to turn to internet cafes but then that that brings up a whole another issue you know i mean think about it like this <laughs> Parents who are shopping, I don't think they're going to just drop their kids off yeah, at drop game the game. Oh, trust me, because I almost started up a business a very similar. Trust me, we almost kicked that thing off. I mean, but and that's ahead. the thing you got to think about. Then you're going to have people who are in there not paying for anything. And then the people who want to pay for stuff, when they come in and see it's busy with people who are not paying, then they're going to just leave and you're going to still lose money. Yeah. I mean, well, and the... hard for the... For playing on the computers or on the game system they weren't talking about charging for it they were just talking about like oh, people wow i mean yeah i mean like like with internet cafes like you pay by the hour this that and the other but they didn't have enough pcs in like the test model store i saw where yeah. it would even ma matter and I the thing is console too though I mean, back in the day, they used to have consoles in there where you could play. And then yeah. what ended up happening was you had crowds of kids in there playing. The store was packed with people playing the consoles. They were trying to implement an hour. I mean, they were trying to implement a time period, but that didn't work. The only way I could see that working is That's like they had tournaments like New York versus Chicago and East versus West tournaments, Madden and Call of Duty and 2K and all that at these local stores, you know what I'm saying? Because most parents are gonna say, man, I just buy your ass that uh, that, that Series X for, for yeah. Christmas or, or Black Friday or whatever the case and just, you know, man, I ain't gonna be driving you to no damn, you know, event every time you wanna go over there to know, you know I, what mean, I mean? But then the thing I is, is with the console sales, they don't make as much money as we probably think they do off of consoles and new games. Their bread and butter is used games. And when they released that financial report saying how much they made on used games back in like 2011, 2012, that's when you started noticing a lot of companies making it so that when you buy a physical game, you have to download half of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because they, they were trying they were trying to they were trying to close GameStop down because GameStop was making billions of dollars off of selling used games and the developers and everything were screaming about we're not getting any of this money. Because you gotta see. think about GameStop when they sell a, a new okay, so let's say the new game is sixty bucks, right? Yeah. When somebody trades that new game in, they give them like Depending on the company, like Nintendo, we usually get anywhere from from twenty to thirty dollars for the trade in. But for other companies, let's say they get a trade in of they give the person back twenty five dollars, they'll turn around and sell that game and still sell them for sixty bucks. They'll turn around and sell it sell it to people for fifty four ninety nine used. Yeah, that's and they try to and yeah, they try that's, that's to. Crazy. And they try to force you and convince you to buy it used because that's 100% revenue for them. 
Whereas if you buy it new, they don't get it that full price. So they'll, that's the reason I'll tell you, oh, it's the same game, but you save a little money and this, that, and that. And they always try to get you to buy used items because that's a hundred percent profit for them. That is true. They try to bait you, and they don't even knock off the price. Like they'll get a, they'll get a new game. It'll cost sixty, brand new, like with the packaging on it. But then they'll get a used copy, like, like the first week, and they'll be like, oh. It's five bucks off, like you know that five dollar. I'd rather just get a damn new one. Mm -hmm. like, that that ain't nothing. Like you got to cut that down at least ten. Yeah, Rome said that's why I hated GameStop. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Greed, disrespectful, and you're absolutely right because they knew what they were doing. Shit. But but karma comes around. You know what I'm saying? It, it oh, does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really did. You know, and that's why they struggling now because if I'm making billions now, I hope I can stick to this because once you see billions in your account, we probably gonna lose our damn mind, Dad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Can you man. imagine what you're going to buy with billions? So billions. I'm definitely going to invest a lot of that. You know, and I'm definitely going to be saving up for a rainy day. And I'm definitely going to put something aside. And I'm definitely going to try and go out here and start me a social media site. I'm going to say, damn, gaming. I'm going to go make a gaming-based social media site. You know what I'm saying? That's how I think. So like I'm a, not going like to sit up there and let y'all talk about, yeah, yeah, all of our stores going to be closing down. But guess what? I done bought this shit right here that's going to blow up in three or four years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to be up there rivaling Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's the thing. And then now, like I was telling you earlier about how, you know, how here in Delaware, they don't, do you realize that GameStop don't even get every game that's released out on console? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about if you don't pre-order it. I'm talking about it's never in their system. They were telling people like when, um, Rune Factory 4, the the re release the release on Switch that came out earlier this year. Yeah, there yeah. was a there was a physical release for it. GameStop never sold it. And the developers oh, wow. on a live stream said that game that because people were like, Can I go into GameStop and pre-order it? They told us on a live stream you will not be able to buy our game at GameStop because GameStop don't want to sell it. GameStop was telling people that it only came out digitally. Oh damn. GameStop they was telling lying. Oh don't shit. Buy, it was telling people don't buy X Xbox, get PlayStation is better. In the stores where I'm yeah. at, and yeah, and that places, pissed me off. I've been in a whole like, lot of states. I've been in a whole lot of states in this country, man. I'm telling you, in every GameStop, you had somebody that either didn't know what the hell they was talking. About. You had some knowledgeable people too, but it was mostly the managers that was knowledgeable. But sometimes they just they didn't know about certain games and certain genres and everything, so they'll tell you any damn thing to get that sale. And then like and then like they were arguing me down that they got every game. I said, okay, look up Spirit Hunter Series NG. And they were like, huh? I said, look up Spirit Hunter Series NG. They looked it up. I was like, yeah, you never got it. And that game came out years ago. And they and that was the manager looking stupid at me like, oh, I never even knew. Yeah, I said, of course. So you can't, and so that's the thing. And then did you guys remember when the people out in California were getting sued? The GameStop out there was getting sued for lying to their consumers? Yeah. They yeah, were telling yeah. people... They were telling people to buy the used copy of the game. And you know how some games come in with digital download codes? Yep. They were telling people that they could buy the game and still use the digital download code. After it was already used. Wow. Yeah, people mm -hmm. in California took them to court for that. And they should have. I mean, and that's the thing. Have. We A lot of these things are going on. And, and like I said, a lot of these things with these gaming companies wanting to go all digital and stuff is because they want to shut physical down. Because think about it like this. Like, we're looking right now, okay? We're looking at all these great sales that, you know, all these companies are running digitally versus physical and all this stuff. Do you realize the moment everything goes all digital, those sales are going to dry up? Man, that's an think, interesting point. Think about it like that because the moment everything goes all digital, they're going to be like the only place you could buy it is right here with us. Why do we need to put it on sale all the time? Well, I think they're still going to have because Steam is based on an all digital platform. You know what I mean? But I, I guess what you're saying is because they know people are still going to buy physical, they still can. 
I think it, this is always a good conversation to have right now, physical versus digital and all that stuff, because I don't I don't know. I don't personally collect physical games anymore, period, because remember when your 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 laser will stop reading games, no matter what system you're uh-huh. playing on, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Like, it would be an issue with a game not loading or error code will come up sometimes, or a disc would get scratched, whatever the case might be. Uh-huh. A smear would be, a fingerprint would be on your desk, man, all that. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it was time for me to go ahead and move, so I haven't Ooh. owned disc-based games in years now. And, and I, see, and I with the Switch... I don't miss them. I'm not gonna lie, I don't miss them. And with the Switch, they're on cartridges now, so you really don't have those types of issues with discs not reading and stuff like that with cartridges. You get a faster load time with cartridges. Yeah, but you still gotta manage your cartridge. Remember where... It, well, you know, you gotta make sure everything is good. That's that physical media. God forbid somebody breaks in or there's a fire. Anything crazy might happen, right? Then all your digital is gone. I mean, all your physical is gone. These companies ain't gonna reimburse you because they feel sorry for you. You know what but, I'm saying? So, but and here, and let, let me let me put a little bug in your ear. Like I ha- like you guys know, I am crafty. I cross stitch, I knit, I crochet, I do all that stuff, right? Yeah. Some companies only sell their patterns digitally. <laughs> Rome said, I love physical. I know, bro. Okay. I know you do. I know you do. Go Don't ahead. worry. I, I love f- physical too, Rome. <laughs> But let's put it this way. So some of the places that I buy patterns from only sell their patterns digitally. So I have to so I have to download them and save them to whatever, right? Some of those same companies if you lose your save file of that, it will not allow you to re-download that. Oh wow. That pattern. Guess what I just seen, you guys? What? What? It's a what? Really interesting thing. It's completely off topic. I'm sorry, but uh, nah, go ahead, IGN, man. IGN posted a week ago this picture. It says Left 4 Dead 2 is getting a new update called The Last Stand. Left 4 Dead 2 is an old game, guys. Like this. Yo, game. Yeah. it's also one of the beast games that I've yeah, ever played. Of, when it comes to one of the to, best like, games, yeah, from Valve, man. for sure. It says uh, the update's going to be called The Last Stand, which Valve calls a collaborative effort by the community for the community and that's all it said uh oh uh, an update for this game yo like, can you, you I, I always talk about left 4 dead too dev i'm not gonna lie that's one man, of the that's, most let me tell you something that game made me mad okay. yo it's one of the best playing games i've ever touched let me it's tell just, you why that game made it. me mad they were going to put third person view in it because one of the people who were working on the game suffers with the same thing I did and the company yeah. decided to pull first person view out. Cuz me I because my off. friend my friend was sitting there like, "Oh, they're going to have a zombie game coming out. It's going to be third person and it's going to be co-op and me and you'll be able to play it together." Right like literally 6 months before it dropped, they pulled third person out of it. Damn. Well, I tell you this. I think they did it for for the uh, the fear element of it. It just makes you feel like you are just that closer to the zombies or the monsters or enemies or whatever the bosses and stuff, man. So I think that's why they really made that decision to do it because third person would have been cool too. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. It, it does suck. It sucks, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, but the game is awesome, and I'm I definitely yeah, didn't know my, about my... that. Yeah, my and he was yeah, mad because he was like, you know, I worked on this game all this time, and he said, now I can't even play it. That was, yeah, that's crazy. That's, that was that's just... really too bad. I thought it was. I thought I thought they did have the not, the option in one of the games at least. Like, was it in the first the, game? Like that? No, they took it out of the first game. See, because what I'm thinking is uh, uh, the second one. I'm thinking of like you know when you play the Jockey Storm. Yeah, and uh, it goes in the third person, like when you're playing as him, like when you jump on one of the yeah, that's the true. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I figured there was an option to like switch. I never, I never really thought about it like that, you know. Cause Man, I, that's been, that that that's not gonna make money feel happier because right there they showing that's showing that they could probably they, they, they probably they lock the people. They could have done that shit. Yo, yeah. for no uh-huh. reason, and then they just like like um. I, I feel like this is actually going to be updated though. Like Sea of Thieves, I think they're going to interject that in there. No, nah, they were plan they were planning on doing it, but Phil told them not to because he wanted the whole whole um, immersion thing. 
Yeah. So they did it yeah, to, so am. people would be more immersive. But like I said, I was looking forward to that game. I was going to go you out and buy what? me a, a, a Xbox One and everything because I wanted to play as a pirate and, and customize my little pirate oh, dude yeah, yeah, and yeah, run Jesus around. Dope. It was dope. I played it day one. It's dope. I mean, and it's that's dope. the it was thing. Dope then to me. Yeah. Right. I, I, I still have hope for it um, to to do it, an update like that. They they it's had gonna be so beautiful, much content. Dad. It's going to be beautiful on Series X. Whatever they do, whatever they upgrade it to, man. I'm telling you, the water. I have not seen beautiful, more beautiful water. I put it on Twitter when one of the devs asked, "One, it was a dev from a whole different game and asked, what's the best water you ever seen in game? See if these number one. You know what I mean? The Last yeah, of Us yeah. Two was up there too. And, I mean, it is. I love I, the I water know. in Octopath. <laughs> You know, I love the water in uh, Wind Waker. When, oh, yeah, see, so we <laughs> all got Waker, different, man. That's different games of different but, aesthetics and all that, man. I but think still beautiful has water. got the ocean in, uh, I'd say, Sunset better than any game I've ever seen. Maybe, yeah, maybe Forza Horizon is really good with the sunset, but the water, yeah, see if these is top notch. Yeah, oh, and this is my mermaid room, guys. And um, what the hell? I was about to say something. Oh, Destiny, you got me oh, thinking nice. about Destiny now. Oh yeah, that is cool. That, that's that's very that's cute. Really cool. You know what I mean, yeah. it's cutesy. Um, <laughs> the little tables look like remind me of uh. And then this is my kids. bougie <laughs> room with my gold stuff and my coffin in it. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Hey, y'all can get y'all can get original on that on that Animal you, Crossing, you, but uh, mm -hmm. you yo, get on that Destiny note. Yeah, Destiny too. No, you made me think about the fact that when you cast your supers on Destiny, that shit is third person. Like you can see your character running around. Like, oh Destiny's yeah, like like when you, when you uh when you hit your super like with the sword or whatever, you can melee people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what you mean. yeah, man. Like that's now nah, that's crazy, bro. Because they build these games. I with a dirt like PUBG, play, uh, Gears of War, and then yeah, first person see buddy. PUBG was another one that uh, added first person mode. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. they added first person mode. Mm -hmm. Come on, man! Some games already had these features. That they just lock them out until the right time. That game is not built for first person, though. It's so trash in first person. I don't think it is. It, I think it's more intense because you can't peek around corners and stuff. So you really got to like use your awareness and you got to have a good set of headphones, man. So it's Fair point. Hear people. Fair point. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you lay in grass, you really can't see over the high grass. You got to peek your head up like you would in real life. Like, I'm going to yeah, step so, out real quick. I got a call. All right. Quick. All right. No, uh, you're cool. Keep going. Right. Keep going. Oh, no problem, right. Dad. Yeah. But I was going to say in PUBG, how, you know, it's definitely crazy, Bunny, because, uh, you um like i don't like the fact that they make you feel like you are only four feet tall like that's how it feels when you're running around in first person view on PUBG. but it's crazy how y'all are talking about this now you got me thinking like do they because my a friend of mine always say yo i feel like these games man these games already be having these features man because if you look at destiny 2 they already show you where these next uh but I'm like, so he's like where the next level's going to be and where the next DLC is going to go to and stuff. You can see some, but I, at the same time, I'm thinking like, yo, they still put that work in. Even if they do have all of that stuff ready, they had to put in hours and hours, I'm assuming now, of hard work. What's your thoughts? I mean, like, the thing is, is I think like, I think modes get killed and, and all of that. And the, they leave the assets in there, like prime example. Um, and, cause you know, I used to play World of Warcraft and stuff. In yeah. World of Warcraft, that when they changed, like they they did updates over the years, and they changed the way, like some of the dungeons and stuff they changed. Uh huh. And when they changed the dungeons, you know, the dungeons were all new and different. They cut like one dungeon I can remember, Sunken Temple. Sunken Temple used to have like three levels to it. They cut it down to one level. But there's a way to glitch the game to where when you glitch the game, you could log in. When you go back in, you would be in the old dungeon. Right. So what happens is they would cut it out for live play, but all those assets that they cut out are still there. You just can't access it when you play normal game. You have to glitch the game to access it. Yeah. So with these games, when you see stuff in the games like that, the assets were already there. 
It's just that they um, took them out to where you can't access it. Yeah, clearly, like on Destiny, they have a, a visible so, wall right there where you know it's some shit back there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so um, if you could ever find a way to glitch it, you could probably take your character back there and see it. Like, um, yeah. there's a there's a bunch of dungeons in World of Warcraft that you could you used to could be able to glitch and go and see the old dungeon and the old zone uh, when they changed the whole zone of the game. So the assets are still there when they take them out, but it's just hidden from the everyday people from being able to see it. Right. So when they go back in and say, oh, well, we're adding this asset and you're wondering how did they do it? Half the assets were already there. They just went back and reworked what was already there. Like I guarantee you, uh, you know how in Cyberpunk they said they were taking out the third person view? Yeah. I guarantee you all the code that they had written so far for the third person view in Cyberpunk is uh -huh. still in the coding. It's just not activated. Or yeah. finished. So yeah. if they ever and get... Later they might just drop it in there as an additional... Yeah, I got you. I'll maybe you later else, but... if they get... Because see, whoever was doing third person, the lead of that, I think they left because they were looking for a person to do that work. For doing third... Who was used to doing third person work. They had an advertisement for somebody to do that. So the assets are still there. It's just they got it hidden. So do you think that's deception or do you think that's just a, a it's just, think, think about think about how I don't think it's deception for the most part. What it is is, you know, when you're OK, so I don't know how intense, you know, about writing code and writing programs. Not too much. I just know it's some X's and O's going so on. So that's 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 binary. It's zero. OK. That's um, I mean. <laughs> that's um, binary, but yeah. when you're writing a code, like you could put in a string of code and say slash execute when let's let's say you want the character to duck when such and such happens. You oh, can yeah. say you know, I learned that in Crater. Now I did learn yeah, that in Crater. So Go what ahead, you though. can say is is such and such execute when such and such occurs. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's say they were doing the coding and everything and in all programs, all programs, when they're doing coding and stuff, when they end a feature and they decide not to do it, they're not going to go back through and cut a, and clean up all the code. That's how data miners find all this information when yeah, they data mine sense. a game. So makes it's not sense. laziness. It's just the fact of it was there. They were going to do it, but then they decided at the last minute they're not going to do it. They just left the code in there. That's how data miners can find all this information. It's like, oh, this game was supposed to have this, that, and the other. That's because the coding is there for it because oh, they wow. just never removed it. They never went back through and cleaned up. You have a million lines of code. You and, think and you're going to the development process. That's a part right. of the process. It's going to be some changes at, the, at, at whatever phases and stuff. I get it. I yeah, get it. so I don't think it's laziness. I just think they're not going to go through. If you have a million lines of code, you think they're going to go through and read every line of code to, to no. find what code executes this mode? Only thing not they're going to do. Not when somebody's harping at them about we gotta release this game this year. November. I mean, and not even that. Why why go through a million lines of code when you know the code that you need to execute to do X, Y, and Z begins with GBA. Let's say it just begins with GBA. Yep. You would put at the end of that code strain, um, nullify codes, all codes beginning with GBA. Hey, wait a minute. How the hell you know this? Huh? You because oh, because I read stuff about it, oh, and I um, about no, I I'm read like, stuff. Like, I get curious. Not a right. I I I did take a class in high school that was teaching us how to write code. Okay. So so we could do like like we were doing very basic coding, uh -huh. but our teacher was a computer coder. Dang. So we took a basic class learning how to, and it was like at the end of the year, and he was playing around with us because it was the end of the year. He didn't care. 
and the teacher was teaching us, okay, when you're writing code, you hit, you say such and such, X, Y, Z, execute such and such. And yeah. then when you hit enter, it would be in there. So then when you go back to the program and you hit slash such and such, it goes into that strain of code. Yo, it's, it's amazing how games are being made. And we just like, like when you go to the, the ins and outs of how to gain the, the whole creation game development process and everything, man, that's why I appreciate these games better. And I keep telling people how Crater got me to realize that because it was my first time playing around with like Lua and writing scripts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the so thing. It was the coolest shit ever just being able to say, I created this and I can manipulate this and I have put some swinging mm -hmm. axes up on this joint. To knock people off my platform that I drew up myself with some tools mm -hmm. and voxels and stuff, man. It was just so awesome just to do something like that. So I can only imagine how they how they use people out here, just like CD Projekt Red and, and Bungie and all these big time publishers and devs um, are, are feeling right now. And like see, especially the big time developers. And see, I'm the type of person that when I'm curious about something, I'm gonna go do research on it. I have so much randomness in my brain. That it, you just sitting there like, how, like my mom, she's like, how do you know this? And I'm like, cause I got cured. And, and that was the one thing my mom taught me when I was a little kid. And, and see, this is some things that parents, a lot of parents don't do. When I was a kid and I would ask my mom about something, instead of telling me what it was, my mom would take me to the library that weekend and make me research it. Yeah. That way I would retain the information. I try to get my son to do the same damn thing. My wife ain't on the same page as me. You know what okay. I'm saying? But, so you know, like I'm I'm trying to get him to do the same thing. Look it up, man. Look it up. I mean, and and it was and see when we were younger, we didn't have the internet where we could just look up something very easily. We had to go back into the Dewey Decimal system and pull up books and, and read the books. We would spend like four or five hours in the library with me researching this. Yeah. Okay. That is so and as an adult, when I'm curious about something, I pull out my iPad and I'll look it up or I'll Google it on my iPad. So back in the day, we had like PC Gamer Magazine. We had PC Magazine. I was reading stuff like that because I got curious. I was like, well, how could this be done? So that I would go and read up on it. All right. Now, look, it's all, it's, it's approaching 8 o'clock, Bunny. Mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to talk to you about... Um, why we ain't hearing no damn dates about the no news about these consoles? I said six months ago they were going to get delayed. You you think that these consoles are about to be delayed when Sony is out here saying pre-order and coming up, coming right up, pre-order coming I right mean, up? I mean, why are they saying pre-order coming right up and they're not even telling us how much you need to pre-order it? Uh, because they're waiting on Xbox and Xbox is waiting on them so they can undercut them. You know how they did this generation? There I is don't, somebody I, trying to get some payback. Somebody I trying to don't, get payback. I, I think these okay, okay, let's let's okay, this goes back to let's look at it this way, Storm. Okay. Back in February when China started going into pure hell, Nintendo came out and said they were gonna have console shortages and they were gonna have game shortages, but they only thought it was gonna affect Japan. Okay? It yeah. ended up being affecting the whole world. Okay? Yep. If you look at where PlayStation is made at, and if you look at where Xbox is made at, they're made in Asia countries. They're not made here in America. All the parts are made over there. If China got shut down majorly, and this was six months ago, if they got shut down majorly and they're now talking about another shutdown, they already said these consoles were going to come out in six months. How are the consoles coming out in six months when you got nobody working in the factories for two months? Yeah, that's a good point. I can't lie to you. That's a good point. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Look, Rome, like, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they're thinking I, I mean, through. when you think about it if 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 if, if the because like i said none of these consoles are made in america anymore not even xbox and it's an american console they're all made overseas 
And if the epicenter of this happened in China, where a lot of these manufacturing parts come out from, and then they go ship to other parts of Asia, and those regions are shut down for two to three months because Wuhan didn't reopen to when? April? Yeah. And they have been shut down since January? That's four months. And you're expecting to have a console released? I mean, Xbox, I can even understand Xbox coming out first and not getting delayed because we at least saw a prototype of it last year. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, listen to what I'm saying carefully. They will release both of these consoles this November. They better than not ever. And did think that, about did, did, did these you, consoles. did you Especially see, Xbox. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you see there's a rumor going around that um, on one website they were saying holiday 2020 for the, for the PlayStation 5, and then it got moved to say at end of 2020 for the release of the PlayStation 5? Um, yeah, but, uh, 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 I don't know, but I know Xbox is coming in November. That's what I know. You I mean, know but saying? like I said, I'm just sitting here leaving the ducks open because that's that was because like I said, if that, you're, that it, is a good point because even the developers from Cyberpunk they did say at a later date they said November 19th for Cyberpunk, but the PS5 version will be coming at a later date. They just said mm-hmm. a later date, like. Not in no, they didn't they didn't specify in November later in November, so yeah, Bunny, that might be, yeah. I mean, you got like I said, Nintendo came out in February saying, but at the time it wasn't as bad as it was. Nobody anticipated the rest of the world was going to go into shutdown. Yeah. Hell, I ordered something from China, right? Before Uh the shutdown, right? And usually when I order from this company, I get the product within two to four weeks, right? Right. It took it four months to come. I bet. I ordered it in March. It did not arrive to my house until August. End of August. Man, I... I don't know. All I'm saying is I hope they can manage to, to, to get them out there and I hope they can put them out there in abundance or whatever. Um, if there's a shortage, I'm definitely going to want to get one. I mean, one. we already know because look at Nintendo. Nintendo can't even get their stock back up. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. You're right. You're right. And, and, and it's not even about Nintendo and it's not, not having even, a lot of news. Right. So, and yeah. It's not. And Nintendo's it's not even a new console. They already know what they need to make it. Damn. And Nintendo can't even get their stock. But, Bunny, why would they play around with consumers then? Like, that's the thing. Because think why about play this. With consumers think then? about I this. Know, I know that the Xbox is coming. They okay, but think about this. That. Think about this. When did they announce that the game, the systems were coming this year? They announced that earlier this year before the world went to hell nobody knew all this was going to happen did yeah, you they think did keep us the update so i know phil was keeping people posted like you know yeah with this covid is used to basically basically saying that it's real you know what i mean i it's mean and, real, and like but, like you know, did everybody's you... safety is important and he felt good about like the the fact that they they, they i think that they built their uh assemblies and uh their their big factories and stuff to deal with something you know to uh, the fact that i can't quote what he was saying but he was saying something along the lines that they had a, a, a special built facilities or whatever that would that would enable them to pump out these these series axes this november yeah and and the Even thing with is all that. i mean like think about it this way come on storm did you expect your child to be home for three months no i did not but i was uh-uh. home with him no but my point is is <laughs> Well, due to, and I'm not going to say what your nature of your job yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but uh, you know, hey. Yeah, I, like I mean, I work in a dentist's office. Yeah. Do you think we anticipated being shut down for two months? Where the state shut us down. 
the Dang. state shut down every dental office in Maryland and in Delaware. Right. Every dental office got shut down. Did did we anticipate we were going to get shut down? No. Did you anticipate even now, even with us back at work, do you realize that there is still a shortage of medical supplies? Yeah, I do. And I, I and that I can I could definitely see because of what was going down and what's still going down and what's man, look. I don't even want to go into it right now because you but, know that conversation no, 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 no. forever. It could take forever. No, to go no, no. Into but that. my point is is when they announced these consoles, they didn't expect the world to implode. Right. So it's not even them playing around with the consumer. Nobody anticipated the world imploding. But people are wondering because now it is bunny. It is September. The day is what? What's the damn date? Six, September 6th, right? 2020. We don't have a date yet, but I can almost, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones that we'll have a date before September 30th. Now, let me tell you, let, let, let me, <laughs> you let me. How far, well, I, how far uh, out I yeah, had to go into September, but, though, September 30th. But here's another thing that somebody else on Twitter brought up. They were like, do you realize that the Nintendo Switch didn't announce their price for the Switch until six weeks before release? Yeah, but man, nobody does what Nintendo does. They do things different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you, and you wouldn't expect, and, and, and this is just something I'm going to put out there because, you know, PlayStation with this ha haptic controller where you could blow in it and everything, Nintendo did that with the damn 3DS and the DS and everything. Okay, you didn't anticipate having a game where you could blow into the microphone and stuff happen in the game. Okay, but my point yeah. is, my point is with this, I am not buying a used PlayStation Five for that reason. Okay. Well, are you buying a PS Five any damn way? That's the question. No, no, no. I don't know yet. I'm gonna be honest with you. It oh, has okay. to show me what. That's the thing. I don't lock myself out and saying I'm not gonna buy something. Right. I because got you I don't know. They might release some game where I'm like I gotta have it now. Like the Wii U did with Splatoon. I leave my options open. But I mean, if, I was, if I was going to buy one, I'm not buying a used one because I don't want somebody else to spit up in my controller. And yeah, they may yeah. have had, and they may have had COVID. Right. Now, I got you on that. You got to think that way. And on that note right there, she it is time for me to go eat some dinner. All right. And, and I, it's, time no for us, it's time for us to end this. So, everybody who came in today, Rome, thank you for coming. Uh, Phantom Kraken, thank you for coming. Devin, thanks for popping in and talking with us. Philip Sin22, thank you for joining us. Who else we have in here? We have Alakazam. I'm happy yeah. you enjoyed your oxtails. That's right. And then uh, DKS Stadia, thank you for coming That's and joining our show. Dirt, thanks for showing up. Dirt, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. DKS is all the way out in Belgium, I think. You know oh, my mean? goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. You know thank and that's you. That's the beauty about gaming right there, but we, we, hey, we might talk about that next, next show. week. Next week, yep. Yeah. And thanks, Jamal, for showing up today. So this is Bunny here, and I and Project Storm saying thank you for showing up this week. Uh, we will see you next week, next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, don't forget to check out the PNTS Network at PT, PNTSnetwork.com to find all of our content and information about Project Store and myself, MM2K. You know where to find us at. Thanks for showing up. Have a great evening, everyone. Peace, y'all. Bye.